Hi and welcome to my video tutorial course on Logic's Score Editor. My name is Peter Schwartz. I'm a composer, orchestrator, and arranger. And for the past 15 years, if not longer, since Logic 3, I think, I've been using Logic exclusively not only to compose and produce music, but also to prepare all of my scores, parts, and charts. My goal in creating this video course was to bring you up to speed as quickly as possible hopefully shaving weeks, months, if not years off of your cumulative score editor learning curve. And even when there's no call to write charts for other players, if you're a reader, the score editor is a natural place to turn to to review or edit your MIDI tracks while viewing them as standard notation. And Logic does a pretty fine job of taking what you play and immediately displaying it as great looking notation even as you're recording. And as you can see, Logic is pretty adept at distinguishing between straight and triplet rhythms automatically. It's also quite good at determining what clef to display your parts on. Another key feature of the score editor is that it automatically inserts rests so that you don't have to. But there are going to be times when you'll want to override or adjust these automatic behaviors, and we'll be exploring those things too. So without any further ado, I present to you, in my sometimes highly caffeinated, sometimes mellow, and sometimes something in between way, the score editor. 